old Christy for checking out one of his ghoulie magazines. <laughs> Which gives you a little hint about tonight's bedtime story. It's all about the way some guys just die over a pretty girl. But don't worry, kiddies. If it starts to reek a little of rotted romance, I think the title of our nasty narrative makes no bones about where its heart is really at. I call it The Thing from the Grave. Bruckner? Bruckner, where is she? Answer me, God damn it! Is she all right? Yeah, she's just fine. I wish I could say the same for you, big guy. Oh. Tell me something, is that the shoulder she used to cry on? Or was it the other one? Where are you going? Oh. Hi. Oh. I'm sorry there's no headstone. Ten Commandments were carved in stone. You remember the Ten Commandments, don't you? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife as part of the deal. She's not your wife. Oh, she will be pretty soon. Why don't you get your ass in there? What happened to thou shalt not kill? Fuck it. I want you to remember one thing before you go to hell, you miserable piece of shit. Remember, she's mine. Not yours. She's mine. Good, 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 good. Uh-huh. One more. All right, and everyone take their first positions, please. OK, great. Oh my god, this is cheesy. So is it going to say anything? Definitely a high cheese factor. It's that guy. Well, I tell you what, they love him in Japan. OK, now, isn't this better than being on an authentic tropical island getting all hot and sweaty? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I like getting all hot and sweaty. Hey, boss. Why don't I hold a can in my other hand? I mean, like, my character is, you know, hanging with these babes and stuff, so I was just thinking, party down. Party down, absolutely. Knock yourself out, pal. Uh, excuse us. Excuse us. He's a real brain surgeon. How the hell do you deal with a guy like that? Tell you what, it beats working for a living. <laughs> okay, uh, Maria. There you go. 
God, she's hot, isn't she? And uh, who might you be, by the way? Uh, Mitch Bruckner. I'm uh, Stacy's manager. Uh-huh. I'm also her fiance. Stacy, why don't you give us a little three-quarter turn, a little taste of bud, you know? Okay. Spice it up. Listen, uh, Looking good. Uh, Mike uh, Butch. Mitch. 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 Um, Stacy wants to make you really proud of her. Isn't that right? Right. Okay, and, uh, and we're under just a little bit of a time pressure right here. Right. So go out and you get yourself a little bit of coffee, okay? <laughs> are, are you, um, are, are you suggesting that I'm, I'm making Stacy nervous? No. Because I'm not making her nervous, you understand? If anybody's making her nervous, I think it's you. Because you're hitting on her every two seconds, you understand what I'm saying? I got an idea. Why don't you take this nice long lens of yours, get it nice and covered with Vaseline, and shove it up your fucking ass! Get some shots to the inside of your asshole, hot shot. I love that guy. All right, let's lose the lights and everybody take 10. Uh, wow. That dude is a bummer. Yeah, boy. Thanks for the input. That's a swell boyfriend you got there. I'm really sorry. No, 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 look, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. He can really be sweet sometimes. I think things just haven't been going well for him lately. Really? With you to come home to? I don't know. I'm... So, listen, I know that it's none of my business, but can I ask you a personal question? He seems like, I don't know, like he's a bomb. You know, it's waiting to go off. Does he ever uh, get rough? If, uh, if, he, if he did, and I'm not saying that he's going to, right? But, uh, but if he did, and you needed some place to come to kind of cool out, this is a uh, key to my studio. And what I have here is I have an extra bed, and I have a television set, and I have uh, a refrigerator over there. so goddamn forward. Look, I have some... Uh, something I'd like to give to you. An old blind lady gave this to me. She said that it was the Mayan god of truth. And if you make a promise while you're holding it, no matter what, you're going to keep that promise. It's corny, isn't it? Look, it's over with him, okay? I had some hard times and he was there. I guess that's why I stayed so long. Hi, Owen. Wait a minute, don't you think that you're paid up, Stace? Come on, this asshole has been using you. I know, I know. Okay, okay, well, if you know that, then why don't you tell him? I'm afraid. I don't know what he'll do. Listen to me. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Whatever happens, I'll be there, right? I'll protect you. I promise.
I have reached Devlin Cates' office. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hello. Cates. Yeah. This is Bruckner. Look, uh, I know everything, all right? Don't, don't ask me how. It's not important. What is important is that she's in trouble. What kind of trouble? Shut up, okay? We had a fight. She went to our cabin. Uh, look, she doesn't want to see my face. She won't accept my help. But maybe she'll listen to you. Where is she? Get a pen. All right, yeah. you'll need to take Highway 5 about 30 miles. again so what's the deal you've been trying him for a week what are you talking about come on Stacy I'm no genius but I'm not blind I think I didn't see the way you guys looked at each other at that shoot and there was that night you said you went out with your girlfriends you followed me you are such an asshole no no I, actually I didn't I I really didn't know. But I'm not wrong, am I? Huh? What do you want me to say? Look, I know... I know that things haven't been too good between us for a long time. I've, uh... I've been stupid and I've done a lot of bad things. Sometimes I get frustrated and I don't have the words and I use other things and that's wrong. I, I know that. I also know that whatever we had is, is, is probably gone or changed anyway. And it's my fault. I fucked up. You're the best thing that ever happened to me, Stacy. you know? And, I, and I, I love you very much. It's probably a little late for that. You need to move on, and you deserve it. I, I, I need to ask you one thing. If this guy loves you so much, why hasn't he called by now? Something's wrong. Maybe something happened. Just think about it for a second. This guy meets beautiful girls like you every day. They're nothing but eight by tens to him. But he said things. Well, welcome to the real world. You know, a guy would say anything to get in your pants. Just, why, why hasn't he called you for six days? Why do you think I'm worried? What, do you think he's a corpse somewhere? I don't know. Maybe he had an accident. Yeah, yeah, or... Or maybe he flew off to Paris with some 19-year-old Eileen Ford discovery. Don't you see what I'm trying to say? I, I ain't Pat Boone, all right? But I'm here for you. What if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, then I let you go. You do what you gotta do. But if I'm right, I think you owe it to yourself to at least think about giving us another try. I love you so much, Stacy. Just promise me you'll forget about him.
know everything. Wait, you're not... Sorry it had to end up like this. I really am. You know, if you just left well enough alone, everything would have been fine. Goes to show you start to care about somebody, everything goes to hell. But hey, just because it's over doesn't mean we can't have a little fun first. <laughs> I should warn you, there really isn't any point in uh, calling on your sweetheart because Romeo isn't going to save you this time. Do you want to know why? <sighs> well, it's because I buried him in the woods outside, that's why. No! Yep, he's dead, and he's buried, and he's rotting in the fucking ground right now. <laughs> Go ahead, cry your eyes out, makes you happy. So you can just stop dreaming about him coming to save your pretty little ass because it ain't gonna happen, okay? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>